Yeah, well. On first ice today for me, folks. I'm gonna be going after largemouth, small largemouth, and huge yellow perch. So. Plenty of ice. It's uh, December 9th today. And we're out here pretty early. I mean, we got a ton of ice early this year, so. Should be pretty good. I, I brought three traps with me, <clears throat> a few shiners, but we're mostly going to be jigging today. Um, if the bite is on, this should be an awesome day. This pond hasn't had very much pressure yet. Like I said, it's still really early in the season. And we have really good ice right now. A lot of people have already been out weeks ago, but uh, I waited. So usually my first trip out is like brook trout fishing, but uh, this year, going after some slab perch. Right. Let's try this hole first. We're just using uh, little tungsten jigs with tipped with a maggot right now. And uh, today we're using the uh, JT Panhandler rod. So, get that paired with the uh, Clam Elite Spooler reel. Okay, so I've tried 18 feet. 13 feet and 8 feet. I got an idea that because it's still pretty bright out in the middle of the day, it's about 11.30, 12 o'clock. Got a feeling these fish might still be out deeper. So this, basically this whole pond is a, uh, it's just one big basin, uh, soft bottom. So they're all, all these fish feed on little mac macroinvertebrates. The perch that are in here are like top of the food chain, basically. I mean, they, they just, they just pig out all the time. So I've got to kind of match the hatch. I'm going to put on something a little bit darker colored. I fished a couple different depths here. I know I'm at like 25 feet. I've marked a couple fish, but none of that have really been that interested. Might set up a couple tip ups and uh, just see if we get anything on those. And then I'll kind of punch punch some more holes and move around a little bit more, see if we can locate these guys. Because there's some in here. All right, we're gonna set a trap up here. Let's try this. In Maine, we call these ice traps. But uh, a lot of people call them tip-ups. My plan is to just uh, Put these traps about every five feet of depth variation and then uh, that might kind of give us a little bit of sign of where they're kind of hanging out. I just put on my, my stabilizers because I've been almost ate shit about four or five times so I don't need to get hurt right off the bat so I'm gonna... Oh! Right in my mouth and I got a flag. Oh, she's spinning. First flag of the season. I just set this one too. This is the deeper one. See, I was thinking they were probably deeper. That's a little, whatever it is, I think. It's fighting the whole way though. Took some line. That's a big football yellow perch. Perch. Yeah. Gonna have to just cut it. He swallowed it completely. Cut it as close to his mouth as you can. So I wanna let this guy go. All right. I'm gonna let him go. Sweet. First fish on the board. Gonna put a new hook on. 
bass. Oh boy, all right. I'm gonna try one more shallow hole and then we're gonna go over to the other side of the lake, drill a couple over there, just see if there's anybody home over on that side. Um, yeah, that's the plan of attack. Walked across the other side of the lake here. Oh, yeah, so the search is on now. I'm thinking once the sun goes down though, we're gonna get into a few. Probably the GoPro's not gonna pick that up very well, but the search is on, so boom, boom, boom. Three, four holes right there in a row. I'm gonna keep moving until I find a damn perch. Oh, it's windy. I can't stand like that. Wow, this video is gonna be horrible. This is how my last couple of fishing adventures have gone. I've ended up just getting home and being like, this is boring as hell and deleting all the footage. Oh boy. Oh, guys, I just completely missed that. I just jigged this guy up. Turn back. Uh, it's hard to push the button with my gloves on. There was a couple more down there, so we're gonna go right back down. Yep, here we go. I'm gonna be easy on this one. Okay. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Good. That's good. Okay, I'm just gonna take it easy. Coming in like a log now. Oh, that's a perch, I think. Yeah, it's a Stephen perch. Put the JT pan handler rod. Look at this thing. Oh my, he doesn't want to come in. Yeah, it's huge. It's a slob. <laughs> oh man, look at this thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy smokes, dude. Absolutely destroyed that. <laughs> Look at that thing. Go. Cool. All right, we're gonna let him go. Here we go, bud. Here we go. When the lights go down in the city. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah another one. This one's not very big, I don't think. I don't know, maybe a bass. It just doesn't feel very big. Oh, okay, it is big. It is big. <laughs> it's another big perch. It is another big freaking slob. Use this glove so I don't get my hand frozen. Yeah, oh. That one's even bigger. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Bye-bye. Oh, wow, dude. It's cold. It's cold. I don't even know if the GoPro's picking this stuff up, but the sun is going down. Yeah, here comes one. Really big line. Yeah, he's on. Yeah. I knew it when I got when that light started to go down. I think I got another one. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think that's my fourth one. Boom. Shakalaka. Another nice one. Yeah. There's a whole bunch, dude. Oh my word. Yeah, there's a bunch. Yeah. My whole screen is just filled. It's just filled. Here comes one. Yep. Oh, shoot. I think I got my pants pulled down there. I'll show what I mean. Yeah. So you don't want your jig to be sitting like that. You want to you want it to be sitting uh, horizontally. So just grab it, pull the line back to the hook, and make it sit horizontally. And then uh, it'll hit it again. This uh, JT Pan and Lerad is, is awesome at low light. That spring bobber is like neon orange, and uh, you can you can see it. it stands out so well. Oh, oh no 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 no! I didn't even know I had him on there. I wasn't paying attention. But I gotta flip that jig back. My hand is just about frozen off, but I don't even care. I'm getting smoked in three. Two and one. Love the countdown. Love the countdown. Yeah, this guy's got a little bit of fight to him. Yeah, another one. Oh, that's big. A small. A small. Come on. Jesus. Just a little one. I left the needle in his mouth for him. Yeah, they don't like it when it goes away from him. Here he comes. Here he comes. Little. I think. Yeah, this guy's not very big, I don't think. Unless he just... Oh, it's a bass. Okay. Now that it's almost pitch black, probably gotta start picking up. Walking out of here. Ooh, back at home, back at home. Wow, we walked out in the dark. That was interesting. Uh, had like a 20 minute walk through the dark, but uh, headlamp was dead, so we were walking by moonlight, but uh, we found our way out. So uh, before, I know I'm probably gonna get some questions about it, so the rod I'm using is linked down below. It's a JT Pan handler with a spring bobber, and if you guys wanna order that rod, there's a promo code in the description as well that'll uh, give it to you at a discount discounted price. Uh, anything you want from JT Outdoor Products, use that promo code and it'll save you a little bit of money. So that was a good first day on the ice for the season. Um, a good way to shake the cobwebs off and everything. And uh, hopefully we'll be back out soon going after some trout. Thanks for watching guys. See you later.